Well, greetings, humble boys, girls, and of course, gift to animals. How are you today? I'm doing well. I do appreciate you asking. A little hot here in North Carolina, if I'm not, uh, I'm not lying about that. It's, uh, let's say it was like 98 today or something similar. Quite the scorcher, if you will. Uh, how's life? How you doing? Ready for the fourth? Hope so. This is the time where I present small talk to you and muse about uh, ramblings that uh, may come across my mind uh, talking to an imaginary uh, person, if you will, in front of me. Actually, uh, that's, uh, that's Jim back there on the camera today. Uh, he's one of the newer ones. That's why I was having trouble remembering his name. Blue Collar Union folk. Anyway, what are we doing today? Well, there's kind of a story behind this. Uh, somehow, some way, I randomly watched um, Undercover Boss, and there's a, a restaurant on there that I've never heard of, but uh, was interested in. It was called Golden Crust with a K, and you know how we like K's around here. Um, and yeah, they they sell Caribbean food. It's a, kind of a, a Caribbean food food yeah Caribbean food franchise, if you will, and uh, it's kind of like a little. Buffet line almost. You go to the counter, you tell them what you want. Um, pretty extensive menu. I, I haven't had Caribbean food uh, just by judging kind of what's on there. Seems to be kind of a mix between um, Asian influences, um, you know, southern influences, a little bit of hodgepodge of everything, if you will. Uh, Look kind of interesting. One of their signature items are what they call patties. Apparently, it's a, it's a golden crust, hence the name, I think. Um, filled with some kind of beef or meat and this one is um, I got two of them and they were $2.59 a piece which isn't too bad um, given the size actually I saw about this is a mild one and she labeled this one as a uh, spicy they're both beef uh, they didn't have the uh, jerk chicken um, yeah it's alright it is what it is so let's go ahead and try them both out now this is the first time I've ever had a Caribbean patty I'm curious about it. I like the episode of Undercover Boss, so um, and no, this is not solicited to all you doubters out there. Mm. Very flaky crust. I didn't get that big of a bite of meat. Mm. Kind of like a hot pocket almost. Uh, flakier for sure. So a flaky golden crust filled with um, meat. Now, how does the meat taste, you might ask? Um, I'm assuming it's cow, I think. But moving past that, it's got a really good kick to it. I mean, it's quite honestly um, pretty spicy, which I like. I mean, it's, it's a slow building burn. It's not immediate. It's not like a punch you in the face and then I'm going away kind of burn. It's more of a... Mm, I'm lingering, 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 and then all of a sudden you swallow it, and then it kind of comes out, which um, generally means it's been kind of marinating in a, you know, I guess a spice broth, if you will, for quite some time. Hmm. It is almost kind of like a a stew. It's not, you know, ground beef. There's more of a coherent, I guess, um, uniformity to it. And by that I mean, you know, there's meat, but uh, there's also some spices and sauce and 
I'm not quite sure what the mixture is, but it's really good. It's very spicy. Um, let's just try the mild one. Similar kind of crust. Hmm. That's very different. I need some bourbon. Hold on. Let's get the spice out of the mouth. Hmm. It's getting a nice little brown color. That's going to be interesting when it's done. It's a perfect glass. Okay. Okay, so these are kind of night and day from each other. The spicy one has its own qualities that I've already mentioned. Um, lingering burn after you have eaten it. It's not uh, immediate, but uh, again, that's all right. It's still very, very good. The mild one, however, is just delicious. Um, I don't even know what kind of spices are in there. It's not too spicy. It's got an, I, I can't even describe the flavor. I don't know. I kind of want to say it's almost like there's a cinnamon in there. Um, it's it's disguising in a way because you bite into it and you think you're going to kind of get this beef flavor and probably a little bit of heat, maybe similar to the the spicy one, but just maybe not as intense. That's not the case here. This is far more flavorful. The mild one is absolutely more jam packed full of flavor. There's just so many different things going on there. It's really hard to pinpoint, and I'm generally okay about articulating these kind of things, but uh, this one I can't. I mean, I, I honestly just can't really articulate what it tastes like. It's a very sweet, savory, not very sweet. Very is the wrong word. It is a little sweet but very savory pocket of meat and the crust is great mild ones awesome that's a very 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 interesting item uh, for 259 a piece I'll take it all day I mean one of these is kind of like you know analogous in terms of the items you get in it um, to probably a McDouble maybe not quite sure but it's not a bad amount of food I and mean, the quality is, is really good. And it was fast, it was friendly, it was nice. Yeah. Um, I wish I could describe this mild one a little bit better, but I can't. I mean, I, I think it'd be doing it injustice. It's really good. So let's go ahead and rate all this. Um, yeah, the mild one just lights out. Absolutely lights out. I would say that's a easy 9.14. Two one, which is a heck of a rating from your uncle. The spicy one's still good, it's just not as good as the mild one, which generally, uh, with my preferences, I would kind of reverse it. So I'm going to go ahead and rate that one a 8.21. Yeah, no more digits needed on that one. I just uh, try to compute it in my head. We'll get my scientists to double check those numbers. But anyway, that's what it's going to get. Really good stuff. Try it out. If it's near you, I mean, if it's not, oh well. This is useless. So, having said all that, God bless. Hope to see you again. And as always, you take care. Till next time.